Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew. And I'm gonna run down all my turkey hunting stuff in my vest in this bin down here. I got my gun and boots. I'm just gonna do a real quick run through for you. I say real quick, I just did it. It was like 35 minutes, so I'm gonna try to go faster this time. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I used this year. And uh, I like gear, I like to tinker around with gear stuff. And so before I pack this up for the summer, I just wanted to go through it and I thought I might as well record it and show it to you. And you can watch it and maybe you can make your own video. I'd like to see what you got going on. So this is a uh, Alps vest, Alps, Van, uh, Alps Grand Slam vest. Yep. <clears throat> uh, so but before we get into that, I'll just kind of go through my process. When I pull up to the gate in the morning and I get out, I'm usually going to put on a leafy jacket. This is North Mountain Gear. I've got one in Bottom Land and Obsession. These uh, jackets are a little too big for me, but I wear them. Uh, so I put on my leafy jacket and I'll put on my binos. This is a cheap pair of Redfield 8x32 binoculars. And I use this Rick Young uh, bino harness. I really like this compared to the big fully enclosed harnesses like you see some guys wearing. Those things are just real bulky. If I was using some Swarrows or something like that, I'd wear the good harness, but for these cheap ones, this one works great for me. I like the small compact binoculars for turkey hunting, and uh, it's plenty powerful enough for me to zoom in and take a look at you. So check out the Rick Young harness if you're interested in this. They're pretty cheap, and you can uh, wear it several different ways, and uh, I recommend it. Okay, also around my neck, I'll put on my mouth call pouch. This one's hound's tooth. I'm planning to make my own, even make some more to sell people uh, uh, before next spring, but this is just a basic mouth call pouch. Got three diaphragm calls in there, and uh, that goes around the neck. And then lastly, my trumpet. I make these trumpet lanyards and sell them. And uh, this trumpet's Mark Prudhomme. I carried it uh, pretty much every day this uh, spring. And uh, I really like having the trumpet. It's a lot of fun. So that's what goes around my neck. And I'll put that on first. Then I'll put on my vest. So I'll just put the vest on. Probably be easier to go through it that way. So this is like I said, an Alps Grand Slam vest. So I'll just stand up right quick. And we'll see how fast we can speed through this thing. So I like this vest. I've had it several years now it's been a good vest so i'll just start with this pocket on the right side this top pocket i put my locators i'm sure you do the same thing you get in a routine if you keep the same you get to keep stuff in the same pocket always and you know where it is so these have got two locator calls a crow call and an owl call this is daryl go see nc bow junkie on an old gobbler this one's a harrison hooter if you hadn't heard him do a hoot on YouTube, you got to check that out. Those are both the Osage calls. Got a couple band-aids in here. So my locators go right there. Uh, down here below is a box call pocket, which in my opinion is pretty much worthless. I didn't use it. I'm going to try to take it off and replace it. On the left side is the strikers. I like, I like the pockets on the vest besides that one. So I carry three strikers. These are all from my friend, Jeff Harrison. Everybody needs a frog wood. And his carbon call, carbon striker is amazing. So I always carry those two and then I'll rotate the third one. I carry a, like a Mac Ebony, some, uh, I've got different ones. The one that's in there right now is a Canary. I actually won this on this Sunday giveaway. So thank you, Jeff. These strikers are Beautiful and they work great. Here's a call conditioner. Uh, this one's from Obsession, but anything, they're all, you know, all call conditioners do the same thing. That goes in this little pocket right there. And then uh, this pocket is just long enough for those strikers. So I'll carry two pot calls. I usually just stick to two. Oh, I've got some company coming in. Buster, Red Slate, Persimmon, 
Buster Glass, Osage. I love Buster Halford's calls. You gotta check him out if you don't have any. Those things work great. I got a pouch right here from his Glenda Green. It's a custom box call pouch for a long box. It works awesome. This long box is from Mr. Lunny Mabry. It's a Purple Heart over Poplar. You can see it's got a lot of use. I'm in my office. I think somebody's coming in. Anyway, you can see it's got a lot of uh, water on there. But yeah, this car right here I uh, struck a gobbler with on my last one of the season. And uh, because of it, I got a last day, last minute gobblers. Thank you, Mr. Mabry. You got to go uh, spend the day with Mr. Mabry if you get a chance. That's what everybody will tell you. And then I like the little mesh on the front of these. I always carry a couple extra. These maroon scotch bright pads work good for slate and for conditioning your striker tips. On the inside here, on the left, I've got a compass because Onyx is not trustworthy. Got an inhaler. There is a cigarette lighter. This right side, I've got a tube call. That's a prude home tube call. Still not super confident with that one yet, but I, I carried it, but not super confident yet. Oh, and on the front, I've also got my water bladder here. I always carry a bladder. This is kind of a carryover from hiking and backpacking. And I much prefer this over having a crinkly plastic water bottle in these side pockets. Oh, side pockets. Got a, uh, carry a pair of, it's just a Craftsman, cheap Craftsman snips. They're red. You don't want red turkey hunting, obviously, so I spray painted it green. What else do we got in here? I've got a range finder. It's important to have a range finder because sometimes you're just not sure if it's 40 yards or 55 and it's kind of good good to know you don't want to make a mistake shoot too far uh, this side i carry a little joby tripod i've got my phone sitting on it right now so i can't show it to you the tripod is real handy for if you do get a turkey if you want to take a picture uh, so let's run through the back of the vest i've done a speed seat mod on this thing I've already got a video about that, so you can uh, watch my other video. I've also taken this top of this thing, folded it over, and sewed it down. My water bladder is an Osprey one and a half liter. I really like this bladder because you can do a quick dis disconnect. You can take that inside, fill it up. Bring it right back to your vest, put it back together. That's super handy. And this is just a neoprene camo cover for that hose. Off Amazon, had it for several years. That one and a half liter is a great size. Fits perfect in the vest. This is a cheap Energizer headlamp. Uh, pro tip here is take one battery out, flip it around so when you don't need it, it doesn't get turned on, run your light dead. Got a leather turkey tote here. Uh, carry an extra pair of gloves in the back. Here's a uh, anchor charger. Got a new iPhone and my battery doesn't last as long, but I think I only carried out the last hunt, but toilet paper. So that is the back of the vest. Let me show you one other really cool thing that I carry back there sometimes is this Alps chair. This is similar to the seat that comes in the Alps impact vest. And if you're hunting a place, I've got a couple places to go. I just don't have good trees to sit on. Sometimes you're sitting in some tall grass or something. This is a real lifesaver for your back. You don't have to have a tree. You can just sit there. Sometimes I'll use this deer hunting, but uh, I can stick this in the back of that vest and I've got two seat options and that's been really handy. So, uh, check that out if you need it. <clears throat> All right. I carry this bin. I got a big, just bin container. I'll put in the back of my truck. 
and he'll have extra clothes and supplies and stuff. I'm just gonna pull stuff out of here and we'll talk our way through it. These are my gator, uh, gators, they're uh, turtle skin gators. Also, I have a video on these. They've been modded by Miss Glenda Green, or we got rid of the zippers, put Velcro on there. They keep your pants dry, keep rocks out of your boots, and uh, they protect you from snakes. So that's good. Speaking of boots, here's my boots I wear. These are both Zamberlin boots. Uh, it's kind of the same boot, just a taller one and a shorter one. I like these because they're good quality and they fit my foot. That's the main thing for boots. Get something high quality that fits you well. Uh, so Zamberlins are the ones I like. Lots of popular boots. Here's a couple pair of socks that was in there. These are farm to feet. I like these socks a lot. 100% American it says. Uh, it's a good lightweight merino sock. There's a lot of merino socks but some are better than others. Farm to feet makes good ones. These are darn toughs. I like darn tough socks a lot. I think this is called their crew cushion, the lightweight. Uh, I like these. I really love the midweight boot cushion darn tough socks. I wear them a lot, but when it gets hot, I'll wear these lighter weight ones. Those are my favorite socks to wear. Just a nomad hat. I like how the nomad hat fits my head, head good. It's hard for me to find a good hat now that I should cut all my hair off. So. This is another Nomad product. This is their pants. They're called Stretch Light, I think. It's a lightweight pant. I've worn these the last several seasons and they're just now starting to get some good pricks in them. They've been really tough and uh, I need to get me some more pairs of these. For a lightweight pants, uh, check out these Nomad ones. I really like them a lot. Another pair of pants. I did a quick unboxing review on these. Now I've got one season of experience. I wore them a handful of times. They're the Duluth uh, Flex Fire Hose. These things are tough. Uh, and I like them a lot. They got a bunch of pockets. I don't use all the pockets, but for like a tougher pant, I wore these on some of the colder days. And good pair of pants. Okay, here's my other leafy jacket. It's the same jacket, it's just in the bottom line pattern. I'll start the year with those and uh, switch to the obsession once it gets greener. All right, here I'll show you. This is a system I'll use when if I think I'm really gonna walk really far or if it's raining. This is a Hill People gear, a little chest rig pack and a Kafaru hydro harness. These things will work, snap together. And you can carry a water bladder in here. It's got enough room to stuff some extra shirts in, or snacks. You can put a few just minimal calls in this thing. And I will also attach to that another product from Miss Glenda Green. This is her seat she makes. It's an inner tube seat. It's got an actual tire inner tube in here. You can obviously adjust how much air you put in there. And I can clip that onto the back of that. And it's kind of my lightweight system. I don't think I even used it this year, but if it's raining or I'm gonna walk really far, sometimes I'll just put the bare minimum in there and go with that. The rest of what's in here is more for cold weather. This is a Nomad hat. I've worn this when it's really cold on the start of the, start of the spring. Uh, here's just a I won't tell you all the specifics, but I've got like a waffle grid fleece layer. This is just a cheaper shirt. It's from Pursuit Gear. It's actually been a pretty good shirt. Here's a Under Armour Cold Gear shirt I picked up at the store over in Mississippi. I've got a uh, Born Primitive Merino base layer pants. The Born Primitive Merino top layer. This is a First Light Merino Arrow Wool Wick shirt. It's really lightweight. This is a great shirt. I wear it sometimes. I wear this a lot once it gets hot. This is just an Under Armour Heat Gear shirt. Short sleeve. The cool thing about those Levy jackets, if it's cold outside, like real cold, you can wear a black puffy jacket, put your Leafy on over it. 
If it's real hot, you don't have to wear anything under it. I used to wear a t-shirt though. Uh, and here is just a real heavy wool blend jacket um, that I wear sometimes when it's real cold outside and I'm not gonna walk super far, I'll wear this. If I've got the long, a long walk, deer hunting or turkey, I'll go with like a, a down puffy jacket and the pullover. Got a pair of cheap gloves in here for when it's colder. I like to carry this. It's just one of those boar snakes for your shotgun barrel. Okay, except if you accidentally get a little dirt or something in there, you can just swab it out right quick. That wouldn't be bad to keep in the vest. Here's just a digital scale. Uh, I like to weigh the turkeys, just know how much they weigh. So I'll keep that in here. Uh, let's see. This is a little possible's bag. I think I got another. Got a little dry sack, a lighter, and a tourniquet in there. So, turn tourniquet won't do much good if it's in the truck. All right, last thing, last thing. Here we go. Is the shotgun. This is a Remington 870 compact or youth. It's got the shorter stock, sh nice short barrel. I like it because it fits me well and it seems like even a lot of taller people like that short stock for when you're hunched over next to the tree. I've got a Sumtoy Toy 570 choke tube in this thing. A Burris Fast Fire 3 red dot on there. And I'm shooting these uh, Apex. GT20s, they're number nine, three inch shells. And I've had great luck with that combo this year. The turkeys I got to shoot didn't do too much flopping, so. And I think that's, I think that's everything. So, uh, if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Oh, and earlier I found this, uh, my flashlight I'd been looking for, it was in one of my boots, so. Uh, and if you got any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to send me a message. Um, and maybe I'll do some individual videos on certain aspects of this stuff. But I just like to tinker around and I wanted to give it a look over. I got to clean up my boots before I put them up. I'm going to clean off, wash them, get all the dirt off, and I'm going to treat them really good with some Oban offs. So that's what I used this, uh, this spring and it worked good. Um... Let's see, anything else? I think that covers everything. So I'd love to see some of y'all make a similar video just running through your stuff because us uh, gear junkies, we kind of like to just watch other people look at their gear too. Hey, if you got any questions, let me know. And thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all have a blessed summer. Hang tight. Turkey season is only another, what, nine or 10 months away. So we'll catch y'all soon.